Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Urban, with the, my very first uh, anime episode review. Uh, this is going to be on Yamishibai, uh, Japanese Ghost Stories, Episode 2, uh, The Sleepless Child. I will be reviewing these uh, as they come out, so uh, they won't be on the day, but, you know, maybe in the evening or maybe the next day I'll be posting them as fast as possible. So, uh, before I continue with my review, if you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel as I will be reviewing more of these for you guys to learn about. And secondly, uh, if you guys want to see more otaku related videos, go check them out in my channel. And third and lastly, there is a spoiler alert because I will talk about it in some detail. So, uh, for those who don't know, Yami Shabai is a anime that is already in its seventh season, and it is ghost stories, and they're short ghost stories. They're only about four minutes long of an episode, and you can really just watch through a whole season pretty much in an hour or two. Uh, you can get through quite a few seasons. Um, they're very good, and I will talk about the great thing about this episode and the bad thing about this episode. So, uh, for those who are fans of horror me, uh, you will understand that the best horror that you can experience is uh, not knowing and not understanding certain things. Um, uh, there is certain writers and, and, um, and, and people in anime that are great at it and some people are not so good. Um, Yemi Shebai is kind of a hit and miss. This episode, The Sleepless Child, we meet a lady who is uh, staying home by herself with her kid, uh, and she is calling her husband. Her husband tells her, I'm going to be late today. Just go to sleep. She says, well, hurry up, because you know I don't, I don't like sleeping by myself. Uh, at the same time, the little boy is telling her that there is a mis missing boy, and that, that that's the same park that um, he goes. And don't you remember, we go to that park, Mom, and she just tells him, uh, get ready for bed and, let, and let's go to bed. So uh, he goes to bed and she goes to bed. Now in the middle of the night she wakes up and uh, catches him in the in the uh, uh, kitchen and that is our first jump scare. And I will talk about jump scares right now in just a second, but that's our first jump scare. Then later on she has a, a, a bad dream where she's being buried and then in her own bed and then she wakes up. And notices that there's a kid next to her. She assumes it's her kid. She goes into the hallway to call the husband. And her husband says, you know what, I'm getting ready to go. And then she starts noticing that there's uh, hand marks all over the wall. Now, this is where it gets good. Because then we realize, and we didn't, we didn't get one-on-one -on -one together from the beginning. We realize that she is actually the person that uh, made the kid missing. Now, it's not the kid that you think. The kid that is missing, she actually killed. And then we realized the whole why she had that bad dream was because she had someone else help her bury him. And now she's going to be haunted by this kid. So uh, she quickly figures out because the, the door of her son's room opens and she's being afraid. We, we don't know what's going on. Again, the not knowing is the suspense and that makes us scared. Uh, and it ends up being her son. Then she realizes that the kid that she was sleeping with was not her son. And then we get our last jump uh, jump scare, which is the little boy she killed, or the ghost of the little boy that she killed. So, um, yeah, that's in a nutshell this episode. It is a good episode overall, but I will say it's not as good as the first one. And that is all depending on the jump scares. If, if the whole horror is based on jump scares, it really takes away from the, uh, the horror aspect to it. And jump scares are great at times. I think when, as they were used here, uh, the first one was used really well. The last one was expected and was kind of like, okay, we didn't need that. But overall, great episode. Jump scares are just not the best type of horror. Um, it is for those who are not great in horror or don't like horror. That works well for those people. People who are into horror, not so much. So, uh, overall, this episode, I will give it as a right, uh, as this episode will get a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, the first episode was a lot better, but we'll see about the third episode. It's already out. They both came out around the same day, and I'll be posting this one uh, tomorrow. So, make sure you follow my channel, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for your love and support, and like always, 
don't be strangers. See you guys.